welcome to this video so today's video is very special and interesting uh in today's video i'm just going to launch uh, a challenge uh 10k in 90 day full stack revolver income challenge and this challenge is going to be uh, me and you and everyone who would want to really challenge themselves as full stack developers or as developers at large to see that you can generate a certain income you can place any figure you want in that um in that uh, challenge you can just say put maybe a hundred dollars or five hundred dollars but mine is ten thousand dollars in 90 days um and i suspect i might need to build about 40 systems in 90 days which is absolutely insane and impossible but um in today's video just going to basically discuss on why do i need this money and wow am i going to raise all this money in that short period and i have a lot of ideas we are going to go through and these ideas is also to give um any other person who is out there and is not having maybe a full-time job uh you are a freelancer or you're a part-timer like me uh you don't have uh, maybe a, a serious job you are doing like a full stack developer uh, this is just like to move through ideas and you see also how you can be able to raise uh, some amount um, first off uh, because at the end of the day uh, we do all this to able to sustain ourselves. So let's start with the question why do I need $10,000? The, the, that money I needed to for the upcoming function I have so in three months to come, that is going to be, I guess, around Feb or March. I have uh, a wedding and this wedding needs a lot of money. Uh, that is like uh, really close, even beyond $10,000 that I need to raise uh, to be able to do this function. Uh, you may just think like uh, all that money spent in a wedding, uh, you can argue, most people can argue about this but in me on my side i see it as a man facing uh, a responsibility time will come whether you want or not time is going to come you need to face this okay more especially if you're in africa uh, i don't know about uh, in europe but if you're in africa you have to probably face this why you need to get some money actually put aside and you face it um uh, it is part of our culture so yeah that is the brief about why i need all this money actually and the next question is how am i going to raise all this money because there is probably not possible i have not raised this money or this much money within 90 days so i'm just going to have oh, a lot of ideas we are going to discuss and the ones i'm going to try to implement so that i can be able to raise uh, this much uh so i have a lot of ideas and these ideas basically are going to be from the services uh or the skills that you have okay uh if you're going to look for money the easiest way is actually to sell your skills okay so you have to look at the skills you have and then from those skills you can generate products uh stock services that you can actually sell out and then get or generate uh some money and putting together all the things that i am able to do i just listed all these things here okay um for instance building templates these days people are buying templates uh, building app templates, web systems, mobile app systems, building courses, donations, and so many, as you can see, the list goes. And I went ahead and took my time to compare. For instance, if you created a template at $100, uh, each template, you would require 100 of these templates to raise uh, 10000 and for each of these ones you can see i put the price ranges uh this is to give me an estimate if i was to uh to work on a certain uh service and this is also to give you like your target when you're just targeting for something always target for 
uh, uh, something achievable and something also of high quality or high value service. So for instance, instead of developing templates of 50 or 30, I might just say you need to go for really high quality advanced templates uh, for about $100. Uh, we have also mobile app templates, okay, and uh, web systems uh, like the inventory management system, uh, HR system and so many other systems that I can actually work on and be able to sell. Uh, then we have component packs, mobile app components, boiler plates. I already have one boiler plate. Uh, video tutorials, custom API development services. So you can see I have all these services I can do. So the question is, how am I going to start on this and how am I going to build this? OK, so I'm just going to start with the easy ones. OK, I looked at the strategies that I can just go through actually to be able to. Uh, by the way, whatever you want to the money, you need to come up with some things you can sell or services or products. First, put them there at least write as many services as you can and then uh, as you start implementing you will start implementing with the easy ones or the ones you can easily uh, start with and that's the exactly what i'm going to do but also i'm just going to look at the strategies that i wrote down that can easily or quickly actually generate for me income right away and the first one was actually maximizing the existing services and uh, income sources. So I already have some things that are, which are generating some little uh, income. And one of them is my course uh, that has generated maybe $2,000 or something like that. But I have to maximize it. For instance, publish this course on Udemy. Uh, most people or most of you have requested me to actually publish this course on Udemy, of which actually I'm just going to work on and make sure by the end of this week and next week, I make sure that I publish it on Udemy. I was finalizing with the payment platforms and so on and so forth. But uh, soon or later before this, uh, for the next week ends, I might just need to actually have set up this, um, the course uh, on Udemy. I uh, might also need to advertise the course, like most people, other uh, other people who are creating courses online, I normally see them advertising their courses on YouTube, Google ads, and so many others. So I might also just need to actually go ahead and uh, also advertise my course, though I don't think I will have to put in some money. I don't know about the advertising the course. OK, uh, another one is creating documentation for existing systems, because I already have a few systems. Um, uh, some of these things uh, they are already I have, for instance, I already have a course. So the course I'm talking about to publish on Udemy, at least I already have one course here. So I just need to publish this uh, this course on Udemy. And then also another one was um, creating documentations for existing uh, systems. So I already have some systems that I've already built uh, with you guys. Uh, if you scroll down here, you will see we have this uh, inventory management system. Uh, we have these three in one e-commerce. We have built some. Uh, some of these systems, uh, medical app, and so on and so forth. So you will see that at least I created, first of all, a medical app documentation. I don't know if I can just like, see it from here, but I have a documentation for the uh, medical app. So when I talk about creating documentations for this, uh, in our previous uh, video, I created the documentation. And creating documentation means that it is going to help people who are going to buy, uh, purchase uh, purchase these systems uh, to help them get started easily. Uh, you can see here. I'm just going to go to YouTube tutorials. 
uh, where you have this, I'm just going to say stroke medical app. So I have this, uh, this system uh, guide for the medical app that I actually worked on. If you haven't seen the video, you can check the, uh, the video. Uh, I have the video for this medical app guide. And so, so one of the strategies I'm going to do, so for all the systems I have, if you have in particular any system right now, uh, any system you want me right now to work on as fast as possible in all these ones, I know people have been asking about also inventory. If you have any of the systems you are seeing here, you have any documentation you want as soon as possible, you just have to tell me and I will just go ahead and work on this system uh, documentation. I will publish it and also create a video for it. And this is also tell people who are going to purchase the system uh, to really get started quickly and easily. Okay, so that's also one of the strategies I'm looking at. Uh, I want to also partner with uh, I also want to partner with other freelance uh, or web design agencies. There are so many other people who are freelancing uh, these services, web design services, and you might be one of those people uh, who is watching this video. You might be in Nigeria, you might be in Qatar or US, and you have you have uh, a lot of people who want these systems, but you might be not able, maybe you're not in a position to develop this system as fast as you as fast as possible but then i can just actually help you to partner with you to develop uh, this system and if you have any system you want i have put a list uh i put two ways you can actually consult me on this okay if you have any system you want me to build for you or you have a client who wants a system and you want to discuss on the payments how much it would cost you uh, and all that. So some systems I will be building them on YouTube, others I'll be building them offline, depending on what a client wants. Some clients don't want to disclose their projects on YouTube. Others, uh, they are very fine. Uh, you can learn from that project. You may find it as an e-commerce. So instead of just getting the source code, you can benefit uh, by me actually building it on YouTube. You first learn from it, and then you get also the uh, the code. So there are two ways you can actually consult me on this. The easiest one, you could actually book a call with me just by coming here on this website. I will leave a link in the description. You can click on book a call and it will just take you to this page. And you can just uh, actually choose any time uh, that you find appropriate with you. And I will give high priority to the people who will just actually uh, have systems uh, we all have websites. Please uh, do not book <laughs> when you have an error or your uh, your project is not working unless you want me to work on it uh, for some income. Otherwise, use our WhatsApp platform at post there and people will help you from there. If you have errors or bugs in your code, you can still message me on WhatsApp. And you can also still use our WhatsApp platform to really ask for help in your project if you have a bug. But if you have a serious project that needs to be worked on, then you can just go ahead and come here and just book a time. Uh, you can just get here anytime that you are okay with. And after that, we're just going to get onto a Zoom meeting uh or a google meet meeting and then we discuss about this project and we see how we can get it started and that is also one of the strategies i want and in the long run i'll be helping you make some extra money because uh if they for instance the client wants a system at 500 dollars or 600 dollars or 1000 dollars you might just go with maybe 30 percent and i take 70 percent of that project which will be actually benefiting you in one or the other. So yeah, that is, uh, I want to sort of partner with people who have those uh, projects or freelancers out there. Uh, if you have any ideas, uh, most people have been uh, calling me, they have some ideas. So this is time, if you have any good idea, we can actually partner together. I'm just going to highlight these ones. 
okay so next is i want to build a low level components uh, for both mobile so to be able to move fast uh, while building these i need to build out these ones you remember how i build uh, if you remember in the documentation here i have somewhere i have reusable components under next js here reusable components and i've been using these components to speed up my development and i will continue using these uh, in developing all these systems and this one can really really help me to speed up uh, the production time instead of just explaining hours more hours i can do this really really fast okay so i also have i also have a starter kit that also helps me to move fast for authentication data tables and so on that's why i'm, I'm going to be able to do uh, to build those projects faster so i want to also take this to mobile app i want to build uh, a lot of components for mobile app and these components i'll be using them in day-to-day -day, um uh, projects things like forms uh cards carousels data tables and so on all these low level components i need to build them and i started reusing them in different uh places okay uh in different projects and this will help me move faster another one i i think i'm just going to do is building a marketplace okay i want to build a marketplace where i can sell uh the code currently i'm using uh currently i'm using gumroad you all know those ones who are following me you know that I've been using uh, Gumroad. So if you just go to click on any of these ones, you will see that this is uh, a Gumroad. Okay. So the problem with Gumroad is that they cut a lot of costs. Okay. Uh, for instance, uh, if you make a sale of $25, they will take 10%. Okay. They will take 10%. And uh, let me see here. If I just go here and I say uh, 25. So for every time you just make like $100 divided by 10. And they will be taking uh, $10 per 100. That is like the easy calculation you can understand. And that is really a lot of money. Okay. That is really a lot of money. Uh, so I might just need to build my own um uh, uh marketplace in, in in fact cloning i might just like clone gumload okay i was thinking of actually cloning a platform like gumload and if you want me to start with that project of the marketplace you can actually comment in the comment section and i start with uh the marketplace as the first project i will also show you just quickly enough where to uh get started with these projects yeah so you can just see here uh we can clone this this is not really hard to do okay so imagine i can need to create my own marketplace uh so soon and there is one thing i just forgot uh onto this one let me see this one thing i forgot on these people who want to partner with me uh we talked about uh we talked about that the easiest way actually is going on this uh on the website uh, okay you can just go on the website here and uh, let me just go ahead and load this you can just go here on the website and you can book a call okay i don't know for some reason i have to book to book a calls here uh, you can just quickly book a call or if you just go on, like, on uh, projects i'm just going to show you this one you can actually quickly add here a project i'm just going to discuss about this in the coming minutes okay how to add your project here and the project with highest votes they will be done first okay so there is a marketplace uh then um then i need also to collect more ideas there might be someone actually with a better idea on getting actually money faster than the ones i've listed here and i haven't built this 
correction form where you can uh, tell me which idea you can do. But right now you can comment in the comment section. Uh, if you think there is a better idea that I can do uh, that involves using a full stack skills and I can get some money easily. But more ideas, I need to build also a donation. There are some people who really like my work out there. And if you really like my work, thank you so much. And those ones who have supported me previously, there are so many people who have supported me uh, previously. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your support. And that's why I have to actually build a donation page. And this one is just like a, a buy me coffee page, actually. So I already have set up that one also. Uh, so if you just come on the website here, you will see here support. And if you click on support, it will take me here to buy me a coffee where you can actually put any amount you want. And then you can just actually support me with that amount. So those ones who are big supporters and they are, they like the they like the work I put in on YouTube and even on other all platforms. I really thank you so much uh, for that. Yeah, so you can continue supporting me uh, via this. Uh, we leave also this link in the description, and you can also find it on the site here. That is also one of the strategies. Uh, another one is to create own tutorials. Those ones I will continue creating them, and I've been creating them, uh, creating the tutorials and video courses. Okay, are uh, offering mentorship. So if you want a uh, mentorship or coaching services, uh, I'm also available. Uh, writing uh, ebooks. I haven't started like, writing really ebooks, but it's something just like really, really uh, look to get into writing uh, an ebook. Then, uh, then there is uh, productivity tools and plugins. I haven't done anything in that side. Uh, then there is subscription newsletter based subscriptions. I haven't done that. Uh, code reviews. I want also to do by the way code review. If you have uh if you had uh, you have something to do you want to review your code you have built your next js app or you are not js app or a mobile app and for mobile uh mobile uh for mobile apps i only concentrate in react native for now i'm still learning flutter but uh, right now i'm very confident in uh react native so if you have anything to do with code reviews, you want to review a code you have written, if it is good, you can also contact me. I can do that. Uh, then there is webinars. The, um, I haven't done such webinars. I've been doing free talks uh, for now. Then setting themes for paper content management system. That one we are just going to do. Create and monetize YouTube channel offer technical writing services yeah so you can see i have a lot of ideas i can do but then in all these ideas a few are going to be implemented as you have seen i've already started like working on a few of them uh to set them up so one thing i just want to show you right away is about the project i'm going uh i'm going to give a high priority uh to people who are who have projects that are really ready to get because that is very easy to do and it will be something already in demand. If someone has an application or you have uh, you have a project, maybe you are a student or you have a client you have met, you can just right away bring your project and I'm going to show you here you can if you have any projects you want me to work on as you can see here on this here uh you will see there is a tab for projects okay so if you click on this it will take you to this page uh for projects the first thing you can do is you can add a new project okay so let's say you want me to build an instacart clone so like you saw you made your research maybe at school or there is a client who wants this site and he can pay maybe one thousand dollars uh for this 
Okay, so you can just come and say, I want this Instacart clone. And I can just come here back to the website and I can just go ahead and add a new project. And let me call this one Instacart clone, just like this Instacart clone. I'm just going to give it some more details. I think I had some details here prepared. I'm just going to give a description. Okay, uh, first of all, what is the monetary value for this project? For instance, you can say this is worth $1,000 because this gives us a see that which are high value projects versus low value project or low budget projects versus high budget projects. If something is high budget, we give it a higher priority uh, compared to others. So you can just say the monetary value here. This net not necessarily mean it is the price of the project, but how much would that project cost um, on average? Then here you can describe your project by putting the description. And then you can also mention the main features for this project. And these features are comma separated. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the features uh, which are comma separated, I believe. Uh, let me just copy these ones. I uh, will just go ahead and uh, paste them here. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove these double quotes. Okay, so you can just like put all the main features for this. Okay, uh, you can just go ahead and put the uh, main uh, features for this uh, project and please make sure you separate them with comma uh, for each feature just separate it with a comma do not uh, input anything else just put separate them with uh, commas and that's what exactly i'm doing right now uh, just putting separating with commas uh, just like this. Just like that. And that was the last one. And then inspiration. Uh, inspiration is if there is this an existing project similar to this one that has inspired you to this, maybe you can ask a client if he wants an e-commerce. So you're like, uh, which commerce uh, do you want your website to look like or which commas are you interested uh, look like so like right now you can just go here and I just copy Instacart so you can just say here Instacart and you can paste here Instacart uh, but here you put any link that looks like or a project that has same features like the one you are doing and then you can go ahead and create the project so you can see that the project has been created, but it is not showing up here on this. So when you create a project, um, I will have to first review it and see if it is legit uh, in terms of what you are, since this is going to be consumed by many people. So I don't want anything uh, to just appear here without me managing it. So I just need to go to uh to the dashboard okay and i can just go okay let me first log in as an admin so i'm just going to log in as an admin you can just go here and just say jb at this app i'm just going to go to my password and i will just log in as an admin uh right now uh, let me refresh and I just go to the dashboard one more time and let's go here project ideas and you can see the one i've just created instacart clone you can see it is here pending so i'll just go ahead and publish this okay and then after publishing that uh, i go back let me just go back to the uh, projects 
So just go back to the projects. Okay, so now if I go back to the projects, you can see the Instacart clone here is here. And this is the description of it. The main features, okay, I have here the main features. And the project monetary value is at 1000, okay? And so uh, people will just be coming here. If you like a project, let's say, uh, you want this project to really to be worked on, maybe this one, you just come and vote for it. Of course, if you have already voted, it will not allow you to vote again. Okay, I've already voted for this project. Uh, but let's say for this new one, and by the way, it's true that if you are not logged in, you have to first log in to vote. But for creating a project, you don't need to log in. Okay, uh, for creating a new project, you don't need to log in, but for voting, you need to log in uh, to really know, uh, to have genuine votes. So I can just go ahead and try to log in, and you see here, you need to log in to vote. So I have to first go ahead and log in. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, log in, and I can just go here, uh, log in. And after logging in, it brings you back to the projects uh, here. And now I can go ahead and vote. So if I just go here and just click vote, you can see now uh, vote uh, successfully recorded. And even if I refresh, uh, my vote is now there. So this project has one vote. So we can just come and say the project with the highest votes uh, it will seem people want that project to be done. So I will be taking the projects with the highest votes to be the ones uh, people have liked most and we'll be doing uh, those ones first. And those projects, uh, others are going to be done or free on YouTube. It can be in a course, depending on, um, depending on the size of the project and how fast it is needed. Uh, also, you can go ahead and here and organize this. You can just get by latest. This is the default one. The latest one here is the default. That's why you see the one that is posted three minutes ago is the one, uh, the one that shows first here. If you want to arrange them differently, you can just come, for instance, you say uh, from the budget, Okay, for instance, you see we have 1,000, 2,000, and 2,500. So you can just come and say, I want to see the ones with the highest budget. So you can just say highest, uh, highest to lowest budget, and you can see this one goes to be the first one. Or you can see by votes, uh, you can say highest to lowest votes, and the one with the highest votes is here. So we are going to be using this uh to register new projects so if you have your project please go ahead and add your project and we're going to work on this uh this project i will be reviewing this every day and you can either go ahead and create a new project or you can look through the projects that are existing and you can get one for instance this also has a search functionality you can search for instance clones so for instance i can put clone uh you can search for if there's for instance e-commerce so you can see here this one in either in the description has something to do with e-commerce in the description and you could search for for listings um what else can we search for so you can search by titles or descriptions and you can just get this project you want but most importantly is to make sure that you go ahead and vote for the project that you want okay you go ahead and vote for the project that you want and if you don't have an account so you can also quickly create uh an account if you go here to login and you don't have an account you can just say quickly sign up for an account and uh, so that you can start really participating uh in this and those people who are except who are like subscribed or who have accounts i will be giving them uh discounts and some other amenities 
or some incentives really to motivate them i will be doing some things specifically for those people who have uh, subscribed and those people who, have, who are members so yeah and uh, so far we have this one done and i will be giving really really more high priority if you want your tutorial to be done you have a project you have a tutorial or anything please head to this uh here and add your project and let people vote uh for that project okay in the future just going to be adding share functionalities whereby you can share to people to vote and we'll be increasing the ones like for instance we have started working on we'll be giving them this progress so that um people can start like really really learning yeah so this challenge is as you can see it is involved uh, a lot of learning and a lot of doing projects which as a developer is a good thing and if you don't know or you don't have any ideas you can still look at this there are so many industries that you can get ideas from we have food delivery grocery e-commerce pharmacy pickup tax beauty home services there are so many industries that if you wanted to pick a project, you can just do a project in these ones. And if you have any project in all these uh, industries, you can still go ahead and add either your project here. Okay, you can add your project here and then we, we start like voting for it and uh, eventually start working on this uh, project. And I will be doing videos on daily basis, uh, depending on this. Uh, projects and next is clones if you have any clone uh, for these uh, instacart as you have seen we have uber delivero tiktok amazon if you have any clone you want me to clone still go ahead and add this project in the projects here okay and people can vote for it and i will eventually start working on that project with you and next is still you can see i have um i think i was meant to put a button for services somewhere hey uh, i don't know services <laughs> where mc services yeah, I have this uh, here services. I don't know why this, uh, which button was I putting? Let me just see. I have this a site here. And I just gonna add like, I remember adding the button services. I don't know why uh is nowhere i might have added it in actually <laughs> in a wrong place uh let me just go to main navigation i remember really adding it somewhere in the some of these uh i have here the first one uh book a call one okay and instead of just like this i'm just going to put one of our services so i'm just going and just add this to be uh services t is going to be services okay i'm just going to yeah i think now that is okay okay so just going to specify also here services okay so i'm just going to go ahead and push this i'm just going to go ahead and just like push this uh here uh but meanwhile on these services all the things we discussed here okay all the things we discussed in this table here if you have anything uh, you want to consult or you want something any services in any of these areas okay uh, maybe you want a template you want a template to be cloned maybe you have a high 
priced template that you want to clone you can send me that template and i can work on it uh so for all these services i have them here as you can see web templates mobile app templates web systems mobile app systems courses and all these i have them here so for instance if you want you can just come here to these uh web templates and you can also book a call with me on this okay you can just go ahead and just click on this and you can book a call okay for that service okay yeah so you can just go ahead and uh, uh there are so many services as you can hear you can see here so if you want like an api you can just go ahead and contact me over this service um and that's why i'm really serious about it uh people are going to book calls uh or meetings uh, if you book a meeting i will be just with you uh in that specified period so long as you just go ahead and you put your details on this calendar here maybe you say like 10 a.m go ahead and fill in your names and the email and click book i will just have to get to you as soon as possible okay yeah so i think i've discussed a lot on how i'm just going to be able strategically raise some money I don't know if all these stories are or if all this conversation you have been having is making some sense to you or you have picked something that is very useful to you or in as in terms of as a developer how you can generate money or as a person who is learning uh, something that you can actually take advantage of and learn from this experience. Okay, I'll be rewriting a lot of code of uh, I'm going to even increase more hours of writing code and this would be a good thing for you, okay? Write as much as you can and you will see your skills really, really changing as fast as possible. Yeah, so that's what I can just say or conclude in this video. Uh, if you have any ideas, as I've said, uh, please do not hesitate to reach up to me just go ahead to this website either you can give me a call or you can just go ahead and uh, get, uh write a project here i will still get your idea and it will be really great so thank you so much uh for watching this video there was no much coding in this video it was giving you the updates of what is going to happen in the next few days in the next few days there will be a lot of coding a lot of tutorials which will be coming and i will be focused to really complete them uh, so they can just mark uh make as much as much cash as you have seen i really need cash and the only uh source of income i have is not real estate is not anything else but actually coding and i'm just going to try to see if i can raise all this money uh via coding uh, thank you so much uh, for watching this uh, video. I will see you in the next one.